Stone Ridge. Welcome back and welcome to Timberwolf TV where we make lemonade out of lemons. And what a fun week it has been. I feel like I have so much to talk about, so much to celebrate. First back to school night was incredible. It was wonderful to see all of you there. So many smiling faces. Uh, you were able to meet our PTC in person. They have been doing an amazing job. I just feel like they're changing the whole feel of everything. They're just a cohesive, wonderful group that wants to do what's best for kids. And um, I'm just gonna tell you, if you want to get involved in any way, reach out to them. There are gonna be lots of opportunities. They try to break it down into little ways to help, um, not take too much of your time just to be involved and uh, do it, just do it, just step in a little bit. And thank you to all the parents who have stepped in this week and next week to help at lunchtime. Um, we are, everybody we used to have that helped at lunch has been hired in different positions on campus, so we don't have very many people. And the more people and eyes we have at lunch, the better it is for everybody. So if you feel like you have an hour each day or you can commit to a couple days a week, um, I encourage you to talk to me. So we can, that's something that we can have you get involved in. So it's 11.30 to 12.30 each day. And um, it's just helping out in the lunchroom or out in the playground, either playing with the kids or just being there to keep an eye on things. Um, that's all. But so those are my plugs. I wasn't even gonna start with that, but it just happened. So, uh, oh, first day of school. Wow, wow. It was so fun. The balloons and the, the entrance into the gate. It was so great to see all the kids and they were excited to be back. They just rushed off to class. I know there are probably some of you parents with a few tears. So that's the hardest part for us as parents, but um, they are doing great and they've been happy here on campus and adjusting right back into it. So we are excited and happy and it just, it, it feels like it's gonna be a normal year, if you will, right? Back to the good old times of fun and, and excitement. Um, so, oh, and your student may, I talked about this last year, but your student may talk about a little bit at home. Um, the pack passes, this is a pack pass. They might talk about those, um, the pack expectations. So what we do as a school is we teach our students what we expect to see. Um, it's often a misconception that you can tell someone like, um, be respectful in class and you think a student knows what that is but you actually have to teach the student what that looks like so that's what we're doing we're talking to him we're talking to him about how to walk you know in the hallways how to behave appropriately at the recess what does the lunchroom look like what does a classroom look like um all of those things so we are working on that and we follow the pack expectations where we describe what it looks like to be proactive accountable cooperative and kind in those different areas. That's what we do. And um, this year, our theme as a school is stronger as a pack, really emphasizing that how we work together um, makes us stronger and how what we do affects those around us. So uh, that is our big emphasis this year. We, uh, okay, so I have some business stuff. On many of you, on back to school night, receive this packet. I'm trying to get it so it's not super blurry. Um, so here's the packet. And you either got it back to school night or you got it when you your student came to school. There are a few things that we need to have back. And um, just want to make sure that you know what they are. It's the, So we have the yellow page. It's the first page, white page. It's called the annual family notice. We need that signed and that piece of paper brought into the office. It's saying that you know the expectations of like you know all of the information about the district. So it gives the site that you would go on and click and read through. And then when you've read through it, you sign this document and we need to have it back. So um, we will be keeping track of that because we do need them back. The second, the next page is a blue page and this is a field trip form. And this field trip form is just allowing your child to go to the park next door. And, um, we just like to have it on hand because it is officially it's off campus technically so we just need we need your permission to take the kids there we don't do it often um but w when we do if we have it done before it just makes life easier then there is some information about our ptc please read through we have this which is very exciting this is the calendar of events that are coming up 
um, that PTC worked to plan so you can know what's happening. So we have skate nights, yay! We have the ice cream social coming up soon, so get ready for that. And if you'd like to help with that, let them know. Um, we have some dine for dollars, coffee with the principal, lots of really fun things. Um, they're adding some things like a fall harvest party. We're gonna try to do the carnival in the spring. Um, uh, all of those things. So, well, a big event in the spring. Um, okay. Oh, yes, the carnival is on here. I want to make sure it's in May. So we have that. And then um, more PTC information. There's a volunteer form for you to fill out. It just says how you might like to be involved in the PTC. It's just um, saying that you might be willing to help with that. Someone will reach out to you. That's all, easy peasy. Then the last thing is um, information how to go to our new Spiritware site. So we are no longer buying all of the Spiritware um, and trying to navigate, do we have enough? Do we not have enough and having extras? So you just go on and pick what you want. You can pick anything you want from tank tops to sweatshirts to backpacks and get just what you want. So go there and do that. Okay, enough of that stuff. But please, that packet is super important and make sure you get those sheets brought back to us. The white and the blue for sure. And then the PTC volunteer form, get those in too, okay? So um, next week is a full week. I really appreciate how they have a start on a Thursday uh, because then the next day is Friday. <laughs> but next week is a full week, new time. Your kids are gonna be tired, just be aware of that. And um, just, try to get him to bed. We'll, we'll get into the routine. It'll take a little bit. It'll be a little rocky, but I have to tell you, the kids are rocking it this week. And it's amazing how your body just kind of adjusts. Like, I don't think you can really tell it's earlier. We're just doing the same things and it's the same, same sort of day. Um, uh, there is going to be a video coming up for you. It's hopefully helpful about drop off and pick up. And, um, we're just gonna kind of walk you through what that looks like. When you're dropping off, you please, please don't park and get out of your car on the sidewalk. So if you're coming in on lower grade side, so you would come in to the um, driveway and turn left, right? And you're gonna go around to the front, like to the lower grade side. You just keep going until all the cars in front of you have stopped, then you can stop and let the kids out really quick. Do not stop close to kindergarten just because you want your kindergarten not to walk far. No, it, it, you have to understand. So I said we're stronger as a pack, right? So if you're stopping right there because you think your kid needs to go to that door and not walk far, all of the cars behind you are affected and it goes all the way to Alexandra and the stop sign. And it really causes a lot of problems. So please pull forward if you'd like to walk your child to the door, you park, use a crosswalk and do that. Okay. Um, we had a car parked this morning in the drop off area and it is so hard because you need to go around the car and it's dangerous for kids and people. And so just please do that. Um, and then I think that's all. It's Friday. Have a wonderful restful weekend and thank you for watching this episode of Timberwolf TV where we make lemonade out of lemons.